Do not watch the Karis LeVert injury. Go out of your way to mute the words from appearing on your timeline. I implore you. Most of our staff follow that advice and avoided watching the video, but when you see a tweet like that, do you stay away or, or do you have to see the injury? I have to see it. And by no means do I enjoy seeing it, Robin. But when I saw it come across the ticker, I immediately went to Twitter to try to find video and watch the different angles and got to get a sense of what happened. This is terrible. But I, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I've done that. I did that with Paul George, Gordon Hayward. You remember when Tony Finau with the Masters dislocated his ankle and then popped it back in? I watched that. And as a kid, Robin, yes, I watched Joe Theismann get his leg crushed by Lawrence Taylor. I don't know what that makes me, but... I watch. I'm the same way. I, yeah. I run right to watch it. Um, you know, I, I'm not squeamish in that sense, but yeah. it, it is the news also, right? You know, I, I remember a, a journalism ethics class I took in college, and, and they asked what our opinion was on showing certain gruesome images on the front page. And I was always saying, that's what happened. People should see the news. And in this case, I, I want to see what happened. And also, I'm rooting for Karis LeVert, right? So yeah. I'm looking at it, and with my, you know, amateur sports doctorate degree from watching a lot of injuries, hoping it's something that I can see and go, okay, it's maybe not as bad as it looked. You know, a dislocated ankle. Perhaps he can get back out on the court. Because a lot, a lot of times, like, for instance, the Paul George injury, these things are worse than they actually turn out to be. Yeah. So that's really what I'm hoping for. Because Karis LeVert was on his way to making the, the Brooklyn Nets look like an, an appealing destination and, and a franchise on the right track. So, I mean, I think we all would express the same sentiment. We hope he's okay and gets out there. Yeah, and that's what gets lost in the gruesomeness of the injury and the video is the effect it has on the team and the Nets were one of the surprise teams in the East hovering around 500 this is a kid who's averaging 19 points per game on a team that's supposed to be you know rebooting right now he was leading that rebuild in Brooklyn this could set them back two years now and it was such a tough injury you could just see the players faces out there that yeah. there, there were people in tears out on the court